Hey guys, welcome back. Now this is the second part, or part two, if you want to call it, of me cracking this new look. So before I unveil it, um, in my last video, I said I wanted to make it a totally different look. So it's almost a totally different look. I've still used some of the characteristics of the old body style, um, but just sort of modified them a little bit to make it look a bit different. Now. Like I said, before I reveal it, I'll, um, the stuff that I used, it's like a, a polycarbonate. Now, you know, it, it, that's just a piece of it. Like you all know what polycarbonate is. It came in a roll. Now I bought it from like a Bunnings warehouse, Bunnings hardware, um, in a roll. It's a meter by a meter and it's 0.8 mil thick. So, you know, still pretty flexible enough um, and you know, like it's pretty strong still, like even being 0.8. Um, and I think it was about, oh, here in Australia, it's probably about 37 bucks, 38 bucks or something for a meter by a meter. It's a pretty big sheet. Um, and what I did, I got the, some, some paper. Now I made some templates of the, for what I want the body to look like. Um, now, I didn't use the original body. I just got some, some of this sort of paper. It's like a, it's pretty thick. Uh, it's, it's like an art book. You know, your sketchbook. You're a big book about this big um, for art students and stuff. It's pretty thick paper. So a lot better to use than just say normal paper. So it's a bit thicker so you can sort of move it around, um, cut your shapes. Now, think, and what I did, like I said, I didn't go with the old cage. I oh, saw the old body panels. I just placed some paper onto the onto the roll cage, tr get a rough trace out, sit it back on, make some adjustments. You know, like went along with a with a sharpie or a, or, a, or a pen or something, and just draw it, just cut it to shape, make it till I was happy with how it looked. And then I actually um, look. So that's that's the rear guard section. So that goes over the back there above the wheel. Then obviously the side section. So I only had to make one because they're universal to each side, both the same. Um, the front section on here. Now I didn't do, so I'll, I'll rephrase that. I did two styles. I did this style, which takes the triangle piece in the middle of the front of the cage. And I did another style where it sort of comes down over the side and covers some stuff here, which you'll see in a minute and the top, the roof, hood, if, from wherever you're from, onto there. Now, I'll show you in a second, um, the little wing piece on top, it's on the sheet of polycarbonate, I've drawn them all out. Um, actually, just check this out quickly and I'll show you the roll and the sheet with all the markings on it and I'll be right back. So, as you just saw, the big sheet of polycarbonate. Um, the little piece, like I said, the little wing bit on the top. Now, if you if you get if you can zoom in, I've actually wrote down on there the actual size of the piece, and I made that the same same as what was on the original. Um, but I've written on there plus 10 mil. So what I've done is I've made it slightly slightly longer this way, and if you notice on the original Krakens, it's only the little lip that goes down that way, sort of sort of comes up, so yeah, sorry, up and then down, the little down piece, I've made it longer on this one versus the original. Um, same goes with the two side bits, I've made them slightly larger, just to try and give it a, a little bit of a difference. So, also, now, the paints that I used on this, which is the red back, spray cans right so this obviously yellow and it's the, if you're chasing some of this paint it's not bad it's good for polycarbonate and lexin um, I've been using it a little bit lately on some of my paint jobs and um, it's 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 
Some of the paints are nice looking colors. So for the yellow, if he's interested in the Redback brand, the number is RBP C56. That's for the yellow. It's a nice yellow, you'll see it in a minute. Actually, I've used it on my son's truck on his 5T, so it's the exact same yellow. Now this stuff, on the other hand, this is what they call iridescent purple green. Now, I've seen some videos um, of guys using this and I've sort of followed the same process, but I'll, you'll see in a second, I can't see any green in it. Now, let me know guys, um, I've seen some videos, the guys spray light coats of this on and then back it with, with black or gloss black. Now, when you see it, there's no, you can't see any green, but nevertheless, I think it looks pretty good anyway. Um, let me know guys, if I've missed something here, now whether it's, you're actually supposed to use the gloss black so it brings the green out or not, I'm not sure. I mean, I didn't have any gloss black on hand. So I just used like a, a satin black or, you know, whatever I had laying around. It still looks awesome. Um, the other thing, now to do your, your designs and your patterns, it's quite easy. What I've done on this one is, like I still have my box that this rig came in. So things like your Baja, sorry guys, your Baja logo, all I've done was get some tracing paper or uh, baking paper, which is just as much the same, and cop sort of traced over the outline, and then drew a pattern for what I want else I want to put on there, um, and then do the old mask it out, do the old. Remember back when you were kids, you used to get your lead pencil, scribble on the back of it, and then put it down, and then draw it over it, and then when you take it away, you got your, your, your pattern there. So that's pretty much all I did. Just Something simple. I didn't do um, any airbrushing per se on this one. It's just normal colors, just to show, got, show you guys the types of paint. Um, and just something, a simple design can make things look pretty cool. Righto, the time has come. All right guys, I'm not gonna keep me in suspense any longer. I'll rip this towel off and I'll give you a look at what she looks like now. Remember what, what the Kraken SX5 used to look like? So hopefully, when you see this, guys, it's gonna to look totally different. Ready? One, two, three. Have a go at that rig. Now, I know in here doesn't do it much justice with this iridescent color, because um, we're sort of undercover. But you can see the pattern I was talking about with doing something on the side and with this iridescent color. And what I've done is I've just put a black outline around it, just to, just to break the two colours. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty cool. Like, I'm just going to stand up here, guys, just a second, and just give us a look. There we go. That's the top. The Baja sticker. Oh, sorry, not sticker, but the Baja logo on the back turned out pretty good. Actually, tell you what, I've got a little short video clip of this thing. Out in the sun. Go check it out. Righto, guys. Here she is. Finished product. And you can see the iridescent purple colour on the top. And, um, yeah, it turned out not too bad. So let's see how long it stays nice and shiny for, guys. There we have it, Kraken's new look. Okay guys, so you would have seen how the, the purple or iridescent, supposedly purple green, look like out in the sun. And it looks pretty striking, I, might have, I, I must say. But, I didn't show any green in there. So I don't know whether the can was labeled wrong or not, or whether I've done something, maybe I should have used the gloss black. Um, like I said, let me know guys if you've played with this sort of colour. This, uh, is it iridescent? Iridescent purple green. Um, let me know. I haven't used it before and I didn't have any gloss black. 
some of the videos that I've seen since I did this, they were using gloss black. Now, I don't know whether that was, whether, whether the gloss black needs to be used so as it brings the green out or not, I don't know. If, if any of you guys know, let me know and then I can trial that on something else. But needless to say, I think it. Look, I think the, the, the purple looks pretty good anyway. So I'm not, di not disappointed. I'm actually quite happy how it turned out. Um, so that's what I'm gonna say is a different look. The reason being, like I said earlier, just made this triangle piece in the front here, guys. So there's a bit of bar work still showing because um, I was trying to go, like I said, a bit different. So a bit more of a sand rail type look and with a bit of bar work in the case sort of showing, uh, mainly flat panels, you know, sand rails. That's what they usually sort of um, look like. And plus it's simple. You can, it's easy to do. Cut some more out, paint some more up, slap them on. It takes no time at all. I think this whole cutting out of the, of the, of, of the panels and the painting, I think it took me a day and a half altogether. Um, it wasn't, it took me longer obviously because trial and error fitting and everything, stuff like that. But I wasn't doing it, you know, the whole time. So I was, I was sort of coming back to it on and off. But simple and easy guys. It's, it's simple to, to reproduce something that looks unique, to, you know, make your own ride look unique. Uh, and that was just sort of like my take on a bit more of a sand rail type look. And the other thing is this opening is a lot bigger. I don't know if you can zoom the camera in for a second. There's a couple of marks just here and on the front here, where you can see how much higher the original body was. I think it's a mark there, mark just here somewhere where my finger is. So it was about there originally. So it opens up all this. Now, outside of that guys, you know, this thing's ready to rip, but this bloody thing is getting around at the moment. This Come on, buddy, not come be not come, bud. Um, like I was trying to say, I got all muddled up with my words. <laughs> yeah, the, this coronavirus thing, I mean, it's everywhere. Uh, what, are you, what are you gonna do? It's it's starting to give me the, you know, what's, it's cramping my style because I've got this rig now, I'm ready to go and play. You're not supposed to go out. But I might even do a running video on my own with this somewhere, I don't know. We'll see how we go. But anyway, that's her guys. Now it looks quite a bit different to what it used to look like. Um, I'll post a, a uh, sorry, a photo of a before and after together at the end of this video so you can see the difference. Um, big difference, I reckon. Now, the other thing is I have been mucking around with some other stuff um, I was going to post, I did mention in another earlier video that I was painting a mate's body for his 5T. Now, somehow I've stuffed up some of the footage and um, I've had to get rid of it because it wouldn't have worked. And um, so what I'll do, uh, I did some airbrushing on that. Very similar type of airbrushing, but different to my young bloke's 5T. So um, just check, check this out. I've got a short little clip. I'll be a walk around. I'll be mate's 5T body completed. Right now guys, so that is how it all turned out. I'm quite happy how that turned out. There's a couple of tiny little defects in there that I wasn't really happy with. Um, a bit hard to fix, obviously, but my mate didn't even notice them first up until I pointed them out and he didn't care. So he was just happy because it was, I mean, when you do a body like that, they, they look big. They look a lot bigger than what they really are because of how wide they are. Um, so 
unfortunately I couldn't post that video for you guys, but I just thought in this video is a prime opportunity to show you how it turned out. Uh, considering it's not related to this per se, but kind of is in a way. It's, it's a painting body, whatever. Um, so, I think this is gonna do us for this video, guys. Um, stay tuned. Like I said in the previous video, I am putting together some video footage now. It was before all this craziness started and stopping people going everywhere and everything else. So it's probably a long video, um, but in saying that, there's some footage there of what we've been doing, getting out, having a rip over the last few weeks. I mean, some of the video footage goes back further than that. I mean, some stuff that I had on the phone that I'd forgotten I had. Like there's, there's a bit of video there on my young fella's FG V dub and that was on my phone. I forgot I even had it there. So a bit of that, a bit of everything else. Um, so that's coming soon. Stay tuned for that one guys. Now I am trying to get my MT finished off, but I've had a drama. I've got now have a hole in the fuel tank. It was just so disheartening because I'm just about ready to fire it up. So then I've got to sort that one out. But like all, all that aside, maybe this crazy time is something um, we can put in a positive way and say, you know, time to do some maintenance on, our, on all of our rigs. Um, I know it's really starting to give me the you know what's because I'm an outdoor person. I hate being cooped up in the house. Um, what can you do? Anyway, I've gone along enough, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, everybody out there. Look after each other. Find something to do. I know it's going to be hard. If you can find something to do, if you wrench it, if you're wrenches like like me and everybody else, good time to work on your RCs. And like I used to say, for the time being, was get outside and have some fun. You can still do that at your house, okay? Just be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. Be careful, guys. Stay tuned. Got some more videos coming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch you then.